brothers and sisters, this is our prophet West Brother West coming back to you again. I have a real, real quick, real brief, direct word for you. And that direct word is, do not lie to the Holy Ghost. Do not hide, lie to the Holy Ghost. Now, let me explain to you a story. Um, there was this, this couple, these couples named in Acts 5, the book of Acts. Fifth chapter. During that time, what many did, every time they would, um, the first fruit of their earnings, uh, they would give them and bring it, food, whatever they, whatever they earned, whatever they had, they would come and they would bring it to the apostles' feet, saying, this is what I've earned, this is what I have, and, and put it at their feet. But now, there's one couple named Ananias and Sapphira. The husband came first, and they had sold a portion of it. They, they had sold their property, but they only gave a portion, a certain portion, to uh, the apostles, making them believe, making them believe, making them believe that that was all they gave. That was all they had. And the problem, when that happened, when it happened and when he laid it at the apostles' feet, the Holy Ghost spoke out and said, you did not lie to just men, but you're lying to the Holy Ghost of God. In other words, you, was, you were lying to God. And you know what happened? He died. Killed dead because he left. Then the wife came. Same thing. Came into him all did, did everything and said, said, said things up, everything okay and stuff like that. Husband, all that. And same thing. You're not just lying to a man, real man, but you're lying to the Holy Ghost. It's a that too. And see, the problem is, they didn't, the apostles didn't, didn't ask them to lie. I asked them to say what they're going to be of. They chose to lie. And because they chose to lie with their mouth, trying to deceive the men of God, they were lying to God. And just became. And this, this, this is something very serious. God says people perish for lack of not because they relax because they because they reject lack knowledge, but also reject that knowledge. God speaking, they reject it. There are so many people, and so we're in an era. We're in a time where everybody's free, everybody's loose. Do what you want to do because there's no consequences. Don't think about the consequences. Do what you want to do. No regulation, no governing like that. But God is about structure, and God is about order. And what happened to that couple, what happened to that couple when they lied to the apostles, and they, think, they thought it was just, that's them, it was God. Be careful because God, he's the same God. And he's the same God. Just be careful because the thing about it, whatever kind of position that God has put somebody maybe over you that you know, yeah, you might you might see them, they might make mistakes, they might do wrong, but it's not your job to correct them. It's God's. It's God's. And but instead you run your mouth and talk about them. When you run in your mouth and you're talking about them, you're touching God's anointing. Which means that you're touching God. And so what's going to happen because people are lying, lying, lying on the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost is breaking judgment. Keep lying. Keep lying on God. And keep direct and keep disrespecting whom God has put in order and whom God has put in place. It's not your job to touch them. It's your job to pray for them and pray that God help them. Pray that God, because God going to deal with them. Just like with King Saul. Saul, God made him king. And all through the time when David, when God had anointed David and David, when the women was running through the street after he killed the Goliath, Saul was trying to kill David. Trying to kill him. And there was a moment where David couldn't have killed Saul. He was some kind of king. He cut off his scripture back. And he told his boys, don't touch him. Touch not my prophet and do my prophet no harm. Leave him alone. And because David showed mercy for Saul and didn't touch what God, what God had orchestrated, God dealt with Saul. <laughs> but also because 
David showed mercy. God bless God bless David. A man after God's own heart. Same thing. God is saying, don't touch. Don't touch. Just like when, when they were bringing the Ark of the Covenant back from Obed-Edom. And uh, they had put they had put the, um, the the glory of God on a new cart. They had put it on another cart where the priests were carrying it. And um, the problem is they were going across a threshing floor, floor but one of the priests touched God's glory. I think his name was Uriah. And when he touched God's glory, he died right there. God killed him right there because he touched what he wasn't supposed to touch. He should have just let it fall. Let it fall. Don't touch it. Let it fall. But because he put his hand on it, he received punishment for it. And so now that's in the Bible. And so that same thing is real. And the Bible even said, he said, much is given, much is required. In other words, once you come into the knowledge of the truth of God and what's right and what's wrong, even in the things of God, you are held accountable. You are held accountable. Because even the Bible said, those that know to do right and don't do it to him that sin. But also, when it comes to chastisement, you'll be, when you know much, you'll be, you'll be beat with many stripes. You know, a little, just a little bit. And so there's accountability, there's accountability, there's accountability. And it is what it is. It is what it is. God is a loving God. God is a loving. He's a mercy God. But God does say vengeance is mine. And so don't play with God. Don't play with God. God ain't no play toy. He ain't no joke. You know, I, I, and don't base God on what you heard. You need to learn them for yourself. Yeah, because God does judge. <laughs> and God does punish. He's a blesser. But he does, he does defend his own. And that's just like, if you keep telling, if, if someone keep telling you something, if, if it's just like as a parent, if you keep telling your kids something, you keep telling your kids something, don't listen to you. Then after all, okay, you're going to listen to them. Okay, let me show you something. Let me show you something. Okay, you're going to listen. All right, all right, all right. When, when he shut down and be quiet, when that parent shut down and be quiet, or call you by your whole name, then you know something going to happen. And so just don't keep, keep, don't keep ignoring God. Don't keep blocking your ears, and don't keep acting like you don't know. Please don't, please don't, please don't. In love, in love, in love. Please don't. Love you. God bless you.